Today we're gonna continue our grind for a shiny heat more because I really want to find one, but I've actually found something really cool right here. Check it out, there's a wild Azelf right there. I haven't seen a wild Azelf since I want to say Sinnoh Tour, so let's see what happens when we click on it. Not a shiny one, unfortunately, but a 666, six, six. wow. Didn't know we had the demon's Azelf here, but this is the first time I've ever seen an Azelf with the city background, so that's kind of fun. And on the upside, I don't believe these things can run, but they aren't guaranteed to be caught either. So this might take a little bit to catch, but I don't care. Like, it's really cool that we actually got to see this thing in the wild. Like, that's so cool. But that's a second shake, and it breaks out. I could be wrong, but I do believe that these things don't have a flea value, unlike a Galarian bird does. But we get, well, nothing good there, but a slapback at least. One, come on, two, and no, again. Perfectly fine, Azelf. We got all day. I mean, technically, we do have all day to do this. I don't have much else going on. One, two, and three, of course. Terrible throw when we catch it. It'd be cool if it was a good one, but in the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. But let's take a look at it. It is a not really good one. Three, four, 13. Still really cool though. A wild legendary to start off the day. Love that. It's been a little bit, but I finally found myself a wild heat more. Unfortunately, it isn't shiny, but we do have something kind of cool next to it. We've got ourselves a bond suite, which has been kind of stirring up the community recently because on May 19th, our community day is going to be for bond suite. And there's been a lot of negativity towards it, but with some mixed Results. Some people seem to like it. I'm kind of in the camp of I'm okay with it. I'm not in love with it, you know what I mean? But it is a brand new shiny, and the shiny family looks good in my personal opinion. I think it looks great, even though unfortunately, again, it's not the most meta-relevant Pokemon. It's not going to really do anything for the game, but they are introducing a brand new move, High Jump Kick, which could be useful for other Pokemon in the future. So I don't know. I'm kind of like giving it a 7 out of 10. Honestly, I think this is better than like Bellsprout or something like that. But I'd love to know what you guys think, because I mean, obviously some of you probably love it, some of you hate it, so I'd like to know your opinions as to why you love or hate it. I know some of you guys were really hoping for Poplio. I'm sure Poplio will be coming soon, but it's probably gonna come after this Gumi Community Day, which will probably be in June. June is usually the month where they give us a very good Community Day, and usually it's the Pokemon that was featured in the Worldwide Go Fest raids. And sometimes they're in the wild too, like Gumi was in the wild for one of the habitats, but it was definitely very common in the raids. And last June we did have Axew Community Day, which was the featured Pokemon for the previous Go Fest before Goomies, so that's kind of the pattern. So if you don't get a Shiny Jang Mo o during this year's Go Fest, we're probably going to get a June Community Day featuring Jang Mo o But I definitely feel like July or August will definitely be Poplio Community Day, and it's something that people are really looking forward to. It's a brand new Shiny, but not only that, with it getting Hydro Cannon, it's very useful. But yeah, again, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? And also let me know what you think about Bond Speed Community Day. We've just brought down a Durant Raid. What do we got, though? It is a 14. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. I got like a 1495 earlier today, so that's a little unfortunate, but we did get an XL Rare Candy, which is great. So we're definitely not getting a Hundo Durant here, but will we get a Shiny Durant? No, unfortunately not. I will say I've not had a lot of luck with these Shiny Regionals. I know some people have been getting them, and I got the Viper technically, but all the other ones I have not been lucky with. And I don't know what it is, but for some reason Durant has like the worst catch rate. And here's a Heatmore Raid. Let's see what this one turns into. A 1683. I think that's the biggest one I've ever gotten from a raid. That doesn't mean it's going to be amazing, but still pretty cool. But sadly, Sadly, Heatmore does not give us an XL Rare Candy. Perfectly fine, but maybe, just maybe, this one will be that amazing shiny. It looks so good, but it's not it, unfortunately. I am curious how good this thing is. A 1683 is the biggest one I've ever seen, so maybe we got a good one here. But as I remember, the other two were pretty bad, so I don't think this one's better by much, but it is a 12, 15, 14. It's okay. It appears I've stumbled into an Autono nest, but before we click on any Autonos, check out this Aloma Mola right here. It is a shiny. I honestly was a little bit worried I wasn't gonna find a shiny today, because yesterday Day, we got really rocked on them like we didn't get a single shiny we did so many raids I clicked on so many Pokemon it was ridiculous so it's kind of cool to run into this one and I haven't seen one of these in like forever so the fact that it's shiny is just so funny but let's see how good this one is maybe it's pretty good it's a 5 6 14 but still pretty darn cool but I haven't even checked this uh, I don't know here so maybe no not to back to back I could have gotten the purple one with green eyes but one thing I want to mention that if you do find an I don't know nest you need to take advantage of it even though catching them is kind of a pain in the end of the day these things give like the max amount of dust out of every single Pokemon, even higher than some evolutions even. Like you get a lot of dust for catching these and sometimes they're a pain to catch, but for some reason this one went down easy. But as you can see right here, we got 2,100 dust and I don't even have a star piece on. So if you go to a really big nest that has these things, you will load up on dust. It's ridiculous. Sadly, this one's only had three of them in it. There was like two of them over here earlier, but this nest is pretty decent when it comes down to spawns. Just right now, it seems like they're kind of light on the nesting Pokemon. But yeah, if you can find yourself an Adeno nest, you need to do it. 
And just to prove that this is an Adeno nest, here is two more of them. So this in total makes like five or six that I've seen. There was one right here that just despawned, but how about this one? Not purple. Either way, I'm gonna catch both of them, obviously, because I mean, that dust is ridiculous. Got our next shiny here, a shiny Oddish, 690 CP. That's pretty nice. Love myself a good 69. Anyways, though, boom, there we go, we got it. I'm indifferent about the IVs. I'm happy with the CP, you know what I mean? Let's see what happens here. Maybe it's an okay one. It's a oh, middle finger, cool. Well, this is kind of fun. We have a Heatmore and Durant raid right next to each other. Let's do them both. The Heatmore has been brought down and also it's not weather boosted anymore. I have no idea if we got a good one or not, but it's gonna be not a shiny still and a 1320. I have a feeling that this one isn't that amazing, but you never know, could be. And if it is, that would be pretty awesome. So let's see what happens. We caught it on the second ball. Maybe, just maybe, we got ourselves a really good one. It's gonna be not good at all. 10, 14, 11. Oh well, time to do the Durant real quick. And here's the Durant. Durant. The Durant is also not a shiny one, and we got a 1495. I think you want to be in like the 1500s for a good one, so unfortunately, yet again, we didn't really get a great one. I'd be surprised that I found one of these things, to be honest with you, because I have been clicking so many Alolan Sandshrews with no luck. So it's cool to finally see one, and I never thought I'd ever say that, because we've had a community day for this thing. This thing has been in eggs forever. This has been one of the earlier shinies in the game, but I just could not get one until now, and it's literally the final day of the event, but it is all right, a 513 six. Doesn't matter. It's an extra shiny for the day. Well, this is kind of fun. Look at this. We got a Nanakita Park Sendai ticket, which is pretty cool, but I think we're going to be getting just a ton of tickets now. So this is for June 2nd for Sendai. This one's going to be for May 30th for Sendai. This next one is going to be for the 31st. No, it's another 30th. How about this one? May 31st. All right. It's followed up by another May 30th. What's this one going to be? A June 1st. Fantastic. And that is everyone one of them. I'm sure that's going to happen again for Madrid and for New York, but at least we got all those badges. Looks like I spoke too soon. Here's the Madrid ones. How exciting. They're just going to keep coming in. And I accidentally hit the screen and I actually missed one of them from you guys, but there we go. But boy, do they just like to keep coming in. Do we have any more of them? Yes, we do. This one is also going to be for the park. Any more? No. Let's do some shiny checks before even more show up. That's not shiny. How about this nice little lick of tongue right here? Not yellow. Well, seeing that we just got Sendai and Madrid, I'm betting anything New York's gonna show up pretty soon in fact here they are <laughs> it's hilarious well there we go we got the New York City stuff that's for the fifth and the seventh followed up by another one for July 6th and then we got another one for the seventh and we got another one here for the fifth and here's another one for the fifth or the seventh again and I do believe that should be it fantastic and here's every single live event medal I have now including some of the global ones as well of course but man we we, uh, we have quite a few of these things at this point. I don't even know exactly how many, but the ones at the top are my first ever ones for live events. And then the ones at the bottom here should be the most recent ones. Like this one right here should be for New York. Yeah, it is. And now the Rivals Week is officially over. And we had some decent luck, but not a lot of shiny regional luck. And I'd love to show you everything we got, but unfortunately my phone apparently got moisture in the port, even though it's bone dry right now and it will not charge. So I can't really show anything to you guys because the phone died. But let me know in the comments down below how you guys did. Did you get a lot of shinies? Did you get none at all? And also, did you get your GoFest medals? Please let me know. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me. Show me some love. And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see more of it, I highly suggest this video over here. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.